This is Chris Charlton for WedgesGodzillaPoop.com and today we're playing Turbo Pigs from uh, Rapid Turtle Games. Uh, full disclosure here for a second, Rapid Turtle did send us review code for this game, so uh, if you think that will influence what you're about to see in any kind of way, then just kind of silently disregard it. Um, whenever I see pigs in the title to an iOS game or an iOS app, I kind of wince internally, and then you see a title screen like this, and you see, well, there's them on the left, and there's those guys on the right, and they look a little bit miffed at something, oh, I'm not sure about this, and then you, you open the actual game itself, and the, the two biggest buttons on the main menu here are for buying stuff with, with real money, and, well, buying stuff with fake money on the left, and then play is limited to this tiny little button in the bottom right hand corner, and you you're not so sure about it again, and then the game starts up, and you realize you're playing an auto runner, and you go, oh, great, and there's, yeah, there's him, there's that guy, there's that one, um, the thing is, like, ever since Angry Birds came out, like, what, four years ago? Uh, people have been making these kind of uh, parody games of going, Hey, we're playing a game where you're playing as, as pigs and you're fighting against these these irritated birds. And even Rovio have done it with uh, bad piggies and, and that was actually a, a really kind of a, a nice little inventive game and this really isn't inventive at all. Uh, I mean, even though you can tell a lot of work went into this, like, these art designs aren't ripped off from anywhere as far as I can tell, like, effort went into making this game look the way that it is, and it does look nice, it's it's all kind of uh, smooth, perhaps uh, the frame rate's a bit behind on the uh, capture software we're using, but I assure you it is, it is perfectly smooth here, and it's very bright and, and colourful, and, you know, these irritated, uh, these, these irritated flying creatures here uh, do seem to have a lot of sort of character and charisma to them. It's just that you've played this game a thousand, thousand times before. Um, it's not completely an endless runner. You can see at the top right there, I'm trying to get to uh, the 400 kilometer mark, and you can also see, uh, judging by where the, the green flag that indicates my high score is. Um, I've got nowhere near that, because I'm terrible at this game. Uh, that's more down to my uh, appalling efforts than uh, any flaws with the game, per se. Um, you've got a jump, you've got a double jump as well. Um, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, I've also got a couple of virtual buttons. And I did. I've also got a couple of virtual buttons which are a little bit small. And difficult to get to, uh, but they kind of uh, let you fly for a brief period and, and jump down to lower levels, and uh, that's kind of that's kind of it really. Um, so 400 kilometers is the goal, but you can see how quickly we're we're moving here, and that's a, a little bit of a, a flaw with the game, I reckon, uh, is that auto runners you kind of want to play for about you know a minute tops. Uh, for one go and then go in and try again. So having a 400 uh, kilometer goal kind of requires you to sit for quite a while. If you're going to have, uh, as opposed to an endless runner, a runner with an end, um, perhaps it would have been better to have four stages of 100 kilometers each um, rather than this system that's that's there. But at least you have a goal which, which gives you some kind of persistent reason uh, to continue on. Um, so, basically my lives are represented by the number of pigs I have in this uh, giant conga line running on and I've been able to upgrade them with uh, armor and whatnot that let them take more hits. Actually the upgrade system, I'll show you in just a second when I inevitably fail here. Um, the upgrade system is actually one of the points in this game that's, that's reasonably clever and uh, kind of different. Uh, so if I take a hit from one of these little birds or another obstacle, I lose a bit of armor. Um, or the, the birds with the rocket propelled grenades can take out one of my pigs in, in one hit, uh, 
if they if they manage to find their mark. And you get a bit of cash. Uh, you know, I mean, like, I think you've, you've kind of seen everything this game has to offer within the first two minutes. There's nothing... I mean, there's nothing objectively bad about it, but at the same time, that is <laughs> that is about all you can say about uh, about Turbo Pigs and things like this. You, you've played this game a thousand times before, basically. And to death. Um. Yeah. So, what is uh, perhaps a little bit clever is the upgrade system here. Um. So. I can, you know, I've got five birds in my, f five, uh, five birds in my flock, five pigs in my pen, I don't know, uh, and if I really want to pay to win, then I can't do that by having a whole bunch of reserve pig joining me every 100 kilometers, which, um, you know, kind of helps me out, I suppose, uh, if you want to spend real money. This game already costs real money, it costs 170 yen, two bucks, uh, out the gate. Um, so perhaps you're not really going to be incentivized to spend any more money on top of what you already have. Um, but the upgrade system is kind of cool. You start with uh, one bird. Uh, I, can't, I keep on saying birds, you see, because of the whole theme of the game. And uh, You start off with one pig who can't jump very high and he can't really do anything. Um, and then with the coins that you suddenly collect in-game, I've got 800 there in the top, left, top right corner. Uh, I can add more pigs to my pack and I can equip them with armor which lets them take more hits, uh, torches that let them see in the caves you saw me run through, and also this uh, upgrade scheme that let me, lets me jump higher and then double jump and give me a rocket pack, and then lets me jump down as we've seen before and then gives you more cash, uh, more gas in your, in your jetpack. Um, so, you know, what's reasonably clever about that is that the first time you play and you've only got one pig doing a kind of piddly little jump and not, and not really being able to do anything, then you kind of troll along, you kind of think, well, you're doing okay and what have you. Um, and then the first time you come across uh, this, back, uh, this big guy, uh, there's no way you can get past him. So you kind of think, well, that's a little bit unfair. Um, but, you know, by the time you've reached that bird, you've managed to get enough cash to afford the higher jump. And then, by the time you've reached something that requires a double jump, you've, you've realized that you've got enough cash to buy a double jump. So it's, it's neatly uh, balanced in that regard. Uh, the issue is here, I've been playing the game for uh, not much more than an hour, and I've already managed to, you know, apart from extra fuel for my jetpack, I've managed to completely tool out my my full pack of pigs um, with everything that they could possibly need. So, uh, you know, I mean, it, it would be nice if there were just a, a bigger upgrade tree and more of an upgrade path to actually keep you playing, uh, because apart from that, there's, there's very little that, that keeps you going. You kind of memorize the the route that's that's going on and and try and do better i suppose but you know i mean as i said you, you've played this a thousand times before and there's there's very little to to keep you going with it um and it's a shame you know i mean like we're we're grateful to anyone for sending us review loads of stuff which which happens very rarely um, but, you know, and it's clear some effort and talent went into making this kind of thing, but then, you know, I mean, you, you think about this costing 170 yen, and then you think about uh, something like Robot Unicorn Attack being free to play, and you think about, you know, for about the same amount of money you can get uh, Rayman Jungle Run, Jungle Run, which is just a, a sublime uh, auto runner, really well designed. So then something like this just, just really sort of falls down by the wayside and it's, it's just not something that's really worth your effort, I'm afraid. Um, so for more on iOS games, for more on console games, for more on PC games, for more on Japan and Japanese life and all of that stuff, uh, games and subculture from Japan at whereDoesGodzillaPoop.com. Thanks for watching.